Hey everybody, it's me, Libby B, and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, we have a different setup because, well, I'm in college now. I'm a college girl. Um, also, my voice, I am very sick right now. <laughs> Currently, the plague is going around my floor, and I've caught it because my immune system is shitty. So. Yeah, let's get on to the video. So, today I thought I'd do a video about eyeliner because there are so many different kinds of eyeliners out there in the world and on the market right now. So, this goes for like gels, liquids, pencils, but like there's so many in between and there's techniques to go along with like all of these. So I thought I'd share with you some of the techniques and the different kinds and what they're good for. If you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. There's no one else here around me, sinking my feet in the sand. So to start off, the most popular type of eyeliner out there at the moment, I would say, is liquid eyeliner. Um, a lot of people use liquid eyeliner to create sharp wings. They're perfect for getting a sharp wing for a cat eye effect. It allows for precision and super fine lines. It's also good for tight lining the eyes. I actually tight lined my eyes today. So yeah, my favorite eyeliner at the moment is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. It has been a longtime favorite for like three years now. I find the pen is super fine and it allows for a super sharp line and I love it. Next is gel eyeliner. I used to use this when I was beginning with eyeliner just so I could get a sharp wing with the brush and it would still look good and dark and gel eyeliner has a very waxy consistency to it. Usually gel eyeliners are waterproof, even if they don't say so, they're just, the way they're formulated makes them waterproof. So usually you apply it with a brush, and there's a couple of different brushes out there that you can use to apply the gel eyeliner to get different effects. Right now, my favorite gel eyeliner is the Marc Jacobs gel eyeliner. Uh, I've had the same one for a while now because it came in a birthday package from Sephora. So it's very good when you're just starting out with eyeliner to get precise wings. And so for pencil eyeliners, there's a couple of different type of pencil eyeliners you can get out there. So for example, there's the gel Pencil, which for example is the Marc Jacobs one is in a pencil form, but it's gel formulated and has a twist up. But there's also Kohl and Kajal, and those are two different types of pencil eyeliners. I don't actually have any of those at the moment, but with Kohl eyeliners, they are super creamy consistency. They are good for smudging if you want to create a smoky effect with your eyeliner. Cold has been used for like centuries in ancient Egypt and Greece. It's probably one of the oldest forms of eyeliner out there. And Kajal eyeliner is also another pencil eyeliner. It is just like a regular pencil eyeliner you get from a drugstore, mostly made from Kajal. Kajal eyeliner is very good for tight lining. It's very versatile, but I find it hard to get a sharp, precise wing when working with Kajal. So I don't tend to go towards that, and that's why I don't have one on me. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you have any questions, as always, you can ask them with the hashtag Coffee on the Couch with Libby or hashtag Beauty by Butler for a chance to be featured in my monthly Q&A. Thank you. 